and okay away we live. go we're live yeah we're live. back again this week at the chamber this is this is uh yeah it's october 25th last week in october we've got a lot going on and what do you say we just jump right in bob let's do it okay All right, I'm, up, I'm up first i'll tell you about the leadership ret retreats uh, the adult group, the Boone County Leadership Institute, left this morning for Little Rock for their retreats. They're going to stay at the 4-H Center. They're going to meet with the governor and the Arkansas State Chamber and the Arkansas Economic Development Commission and all of our partners in the central Arkansas Little Rock area. And on Wednesday, we hope they'll get to do the ropes course. Right now, there is a 100% chance of rain that's going to affect both the adults and then the youth are also going to UCA on Wednesday to do the UCA ropes course. And there's also a 100% chance of rain. So but you know, the 100% chance of rain on Wednesday based on on noon on Monday is not going to be of any significance. So hey, this Thursday is a is a really big treat for us. Uh, we're having our second economic development summit. And this is sponsored by presented by North Arkansas College. What a great partnership we have with them. And this Thursday at 8.15 a.m., Stuart Walton, uh, founder of the Runway Group in Bentonville, and yes, of the Walton family, Stuart is going to be our keynote speaker on innovation and technology uh, and entrepreneurship this Wednesday at 8.15. He's going to be followed by Jeff Amarine and Grace Rains of Startup Junkie and the Connector, and the Conductor, sorry. And... Um, it's going to be a great morning, a great summit, bringing together uh, CEO, senior leadership of all of our community businesses and industries and uh, at the Duran Center by invitation only, but uh, know that it's going to be a highlight for our business community this year. Yep. You've got an excellent too. Keep on going. Well, uh, yeah, and we've got a ribbon for cutting for safe haven security on on uh, this week as well but they're going to be our guest here in a little bit so we'll let them speak for themselves yep, there you go and then last on our agenda is the community walk audit and so we've got a lot of questions about this i think we talked just gave a teaser for it last week maybe yeah. talking about the walk audit coming up and uh that is with the university of central arkansas their center for community and economic development they're going to be joining us here you know we've been doing a lot of work with them in the community catalyst program so they're also coming here with Craft and Toll as a community planning and architecture group. And right, double right. check me on that, Bob, but right. uh, they are big in the community development world. And so they're, they've got a partnership with UCA and they're coming yeah. here to do a walk audit with us and uh, had, to, had to limit the numbers, but we've got about 15 people that are going to uh, talk about the enhancements that we can make downtown and about that yeah. three block area, not just yeah. around the square, but some of those outer areas too and uh, kind of yeah this is a vision right this is just going to be a, a great opportunity for the experts from craft and toll who do this throughout the state of arkansas and fortunately through the uca partnership that you mentioned uh, wilson we've got uh, we're going to be able to partake of that with some community leaders to walk around see what's there see what we can do and look out to the future yep and then as you mentioned Doug Elms with Safe Haven Security Group yep. is our guest today talking about one, the ribbon cutting this week on Friday at nine. And then the following week on the third, they're doing a active shooter prevention and defense seminar. Uh, it is one of their, one of the best things that they do yeah. uh, as far as seminars and professional development goes. I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but uh, we're, we're excited about it. We're going to attend. We're going to learn all about it. Hey, we're going to learn all about it uh, again. Another busy week. Uh, Wilson, we'll see you when you get back on uh, late Wednesday night and uh, be ready to go on Thursday. Yep. So have a great week, Doug. everyone. Yeah, let's hear from Doug. All right, Doug, thanks for joining us here on This Week at the Chamber. Uh, Doug is from Safe Haven Security Group. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about you, your role. Tell us a little bit about Safe Haven. You know, just joined the Chamber and you've got uh, a lot going on already. Thanks, Wilson. Glad to be part of uh, of the show and joining the chamber and expanding our, our services that we offer in the Harrison and Boone County area. So Safe Haven Security Group, 
really has three main buckets of services and how we keep people safe and keep their brand names out of the headlines. We provide professional uniform security officers. We, the leaders in our company have a lot of experience, not only in law enforcement and military, but also in corporate America. And I think that's one of the things that helps us stand out from, from other security providers is that we understand business. And so not only do our officers uh, provide security and safety, but they're great ambassadors for our clients' businesses. Uh, they're professional in their appearance, they're professional in their interactions, and they know how to keep people safe. So that's just a winning uh, formula, and clients uh, really appreciate the, the understanding of business. And we work in what's called a behavioral threat assessment, but it really boils down to preventing workplace violence. And so on November 3rd, um, the Chamber and uh, the Harrison Police Department and the Boone County Sheriff's Office uh, are all co-sponsoring an active shooter uh, training event. It's active shooter prevention and defense seminar. It's on Wednesday, November the 3rd from 9 a.m. to noon. It's free. It's at the Quality Inn in Harrison. And so uh, guys from our company who are former chiefs of police, worked at the NSA. I worked at Walmart in security for 24 years. We're going to help people understand uh, that people don't just snap and hurt others, that there's always warning signs to violence, always warning signs. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to teach you what those warning signs are. We're going to teach you how not to make a situation worse. And we're going to teach you how to de-escalate situations and to call us if you need help with those kinds of things to prevent violence in the first place. A lot of security companies, and I was a police officer for 10 years in Little Rock, a lot of law enforcement will teach you how to defend yourself once an active shooter event has started. We want to prevent the whole thing. And we're going to teach you skills and warning signs that you can recognize so that you can identify those things early and, and prevent them and mitigate them. So you've got, so y'all just joined, you've got the ribbon cutting coming up. By the time this airs, this will be on Monday, but on the Thursday, on, or excuse me, on the Friday, the 29th of October at 9 a.m., we've got your ribbon cutting. And then the following week on November 3rd, also at 9 a.m., like you mentioned, at the Quality Inn, that's where you'll find that seminar. And if people are watching this right now, they'll they'll see this little, I'll, I'll put a, vo a recording of the event Eventbrite page where they can sign up and register for that seminar. As you mentioned, free resources. And don't, do people get uh, some continuing education credits for this? Yeah, uh, they sure do. If you're in HR and you're a member of uh, Society of HR Management, SHRM, then, uh, then our, our training will qualify as continuing education. And if you're in law enforcement or enrolled under the CLEST program, you would get continuing education for that. It's free. We're glad to educate people about pretty serious topics that nobody really wants to talk about until you have to talk about it. And so it's free and will be a resource for, for, uh, for people in Harrison to call. Uh, hopefully you'll list our website and the phone number on where they can reach out to us if they have other questions. And we'll have some uh, uh, materials to hand out in the seminar on Wednesday the 3rd as well. Awesome. Well, Doug, if that's, unless there was anything else that you wanted to add there, I think, I think you've covered more than enough for people to be intrigued at, at least or excited or at least aware of the, the resource and the educational opportunity that's coming up on November 3rd. So appreciate you taking some time to, to talk with us today. And I guess we'll, we'll be seeing you on Friday and yep. then on the 3rd for the seminar. So great. Thanks, Wilson. All right. Thanks, Doug. See you.